Glencorog Ronda and Swansea Junction Railway. Requires 15 miles of new construction. The direct distance from Treherber to Neath is 15 miles and two and one quarter furlongs, then to Swansea is 17 miles and a half. Starts from a junction with the TAF on easy gradient for the first quarter of a mile and then with a gradient of 1 in 50 to the entrance of the East Tunnel. Distance 1 mile and 3 quarters furlong. There is therefore 440 yards to carry the gradient of 1 in 50 with the junction with the TAF. This part of the line does not branch or intersect with the projected authorised line of the TAF Vale Railway, Selsig branch. The tunnel is 3,640 yards long, with the rising gradient of 1 in 264 to a central point, and a falling gradient of 1 in 1,510 from a central point to Glyncorog. The tunnel is therefore 129 yards longer than the Rhondda and Swansea Bay Railway Tunnel but the construction can be carried on from both ends simultaneously with natural drainage accordingly from the central point each way. There are about 500 yards of pennant rock to be driven through, the remaining portion of the work being through slate. The tunnel, although 129 yards longer, will take less time be easier in construction as it can be worked from both ends and go through cheaper ground than the Avon Tunnel. On leaving the tunnel, the gradients all fall westwards, with the steepest gradient being 1 in 50 for two-thirds of a mile to the junction with the South Wales Mineral Railway. The gradients on the South Wales Mineral Railway vary and also all fall westwards, the steepest being 1 in 60 for 100 yards and 1 in 67.4 for a short distance. From Simmer, this line runs over five miles of the South Wales Mineral Railway, leaving this line at Abernant and passing through a tunnel of 600 yards, proceeding directly to Neath. There is also a branch affecting the junction with the Great Western Railway between Britain Ferry and Neath Docks. It then crosses the Neath River at Giant's Grave behind the Britain Ferry Docks and proceeds to the East Docks of Swansea by a direct line and to Swansea Town and West Docks by a junction with the Great Western Railway about one mile from Swansea. The swing bridge over the Neath River has openings each of which are 80 feet wide. Passenger traffic, junction and railway communication with the Great Western Railway System, Linvey and Ogmore Railways, and hence over the South Wales Mineral Railway to Abernant, proceeding directly to Neath Town. The line also proceeds to junction with Great Western Railway at or near Britain Ferry and crosses Neath River to Swansea. Passengers therefore have direct railway communication with the Rhondda Valley, Glyncorog and Neath and with Simmer for the Linvey and Ogmore Railway and all stations on the line, including Bridgend and Porthcall as well. The Rhondda and Swansea Bay Railway requires 20 miles of new construction. The distance from Treherbert to Neath is 17 miles and a half and that from Treherbert to Swansea, if the direct route is constructed, is 18 miles and a half. The line starts from the junction with the TAF on an easy gradient for the first few yards and then with a gradient of 1 in 53 to the entrance of the tunnel, covering a distance of 1 mile, 4 furlongs and 9 chains. The 110 yards between the gradient of 1 in 75 and the junction with the TAF will probably be considered too short a distance by the TAF Vale Railway to enable the speed to be properly clocked before the junction with their line. The committee may also consider that danger and inconvenience may arise from this. 
The distance of 210 yards is also short to get up good speed to haul the load up the gradient of 1 to 55. This part of the line cuts through the proposed authorised line of the TAF Vale Railway Selsig branch. The tunnel is 3,311 yards long, marked on the deposited plans as being at a planned rising gradient of 1 in 451 from the Treherbert side to the exit of the tunnel on the other side, the Avon Valley. The tunnel has to pass through about 1,100 yards of the pennant rock and then through shale. With a gradient running uniformly westwards, this tunnel will be costly in construction and of long duration. If the construction goes on from one end only, much time must be occupied. Whilst if it takes place at both ends simultaneously, there must be considerable pumping on the Avon side, thus involving extra cost and fewer facilities in working. On leaving the tunnel, this line runs parallel for about two miles with the Avon branch of the Great Western Railway. The plan gives a gradient for some two miles of 1 in 50.21. Nearly opposite Simmer, this line runs more or less parallel with the South Wales Mineral Railway for some three to four miles on the south side of the river, but does not make any junction either with the South Wales Mineral Railway or with the Linvey or Ogmore branch of the Great Western Railway. It then branches off toward Cuyem Avon, near which point there is a tunnel of 1,530 yards with a uniform gradient according to plans of one in 60. The line soon after joins the Great Western Railway near Baglan, between Port Talbot and Britain Ferry. A branch then proceeds to cross the Neath River on the eastward side of the Britain Ferry docks and from there proceeds to Swansea directly, also effecting a junction with the Great Western Railway at Britain Ferry Road Station, three miles from Swansea. The swing bridge has two openings of 80 feet each. Starting from Treherbert, the railway runs independently without any junctions with any other existing line until it joins the Great Western Railway system near Bagland. Passengers must therefore change onto the Great Western system between Britain Ferry and Port Talbot, or at Britain Ferry for Neath, Port Talbot, Porthcawl and other destinations. They must walk from their own station, if any, at or near Simmer, to get to Simmer Station on the Linvey and Ogmore lines, Bridgend, Maesteg, Rhonda, Porthcawl and other places, and other 